hey guys this is nurul huda and i am an educator at an online learning app that is unacademy there also i am posting videos which are going to be very helpful for you for your csn at preparation so if you are enjoying my videos if you are liking my teaching skills on youtube then i hope you are you will also like my videos on an academy as well so follow me over there so that you don't miss out anything which i am posting there for your preparation of csnet so how you have to do this is just download this an academy learning app from the app store and you have to search for my name that is nurul huda in the search bar and you will get a screen like this which is shown in your on your screen right now and you just have to click on this follow button to follow me over there all right and if you follow me whenever i will upload a new video or anything you will get notification for that secondly you can also go over there go to my profile directly from the uh, link given in the description so that's all for this let's continue with the video hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this is nurul huda and uh, yeah so this video is uh, just because your exam is quite near and it's approximately like less than one month left for the exam so now start counting days like start counting it in days okay so now you are having like like 28 or 29 days left for your exam and i know that uh, most of you have already prepared for it and uh, like uh, your progress is going on but these are the crucial days like these are the next 25 30 days which are very crucial for your preparation and i can say this because when i was preparing for my csnet these days were the day when i boosted up my preparation and uh, i started preparing more vigorously so that's what i'm going to tell you I, i'm just this video is just to inform you or just to give you few tips regarding uh, the next few days how to prepare for that okay so there is nothing like there is no magic or nothing which is going to be happen everything will be like that only like what you are doing just you have to boost it up okay so now you have to keep in mind few things like in these days like avoid reading something new okay if somebody tells you that now start reading this from this book or some certain new book you get to know don't start reading from it okay if you have covered something from a certain book just believe in that and keep revising it all right so don't go for something new now because new thing will get like you will you can get confused in it and the concept which you have already built up in your mind just keep that and what you have to do in these days you just have to solve as many questions as possible i know uh, like till now also you must have solved a lot of questions but now you need to boost it up and your study time also you have to increase a bit so till now if you have studied like 2 uh, hours daily or 3 hours daily you have to increase it a bit and don't be like that that uh, don't read continuously okay don't study continuously because uh, when you read continuously that's about me okay i'm just telling about me when i read continuously for 2 3 hours then what happens that after 1 or 2 hours um, whatever i read that doesn't goes into my mind that much okay i don't understand those thing that much so it's just a tip it's just a tip from my side that that uh, you just uh, like split your reading time in day like you read 2 hours in morning 2 hours in evening uh, like in afternoon and 2 hours at night before going to sleep one more thing which i found very helpful is that before going to sleep always read something okay whatever you have read in the day just revise it before going to sleep so whenever you are going to sleep just keep a notebook where you are noting uh, down what you whatever you have studied till the day so before going into the sleep before going into sleep just read it out and uh, yeah see many students do they what they do they stop using facebook whatsapp my friends also and i have seen students also they do the same thing like they stop using the facebook whatsapp youtube everything they closed down but see that will not help that much why why i am saying so because if you stop using facebook whatsapp and everything your one of part of your mind will be at that side only you will be thinking you will be keep on thinking that what is happening over there okay so it's not a solution you cannot like you you should not switch off yourself from all these things use them but uh, use them wisely okay don't be in uh, like don't use facebook whole day don't use uh, whatsapp and youtube whole day so just use them wisely that's what i am saying and uh, yeah and few topics which you should cover now like if you have uh, like if you have not covered till now you have to cover them especially from inorganic chemistry like your bio inorganic chemistry you should start reading from now okay you should start reading the topics uh, like the uh, like the contents and you should uh, keep on revising them because those are the thing you have to mug up and in exam if if a question comes from there if you have remembered if you remember those things 
then only you can do that question otherwise uh, like there is no concept there is no logic in doing those questions okay so by an organic chemistry start reading start uh, like learning i would say start mugging up that thing secondly start uh, doing that uh, uh, like main group elements lanthanides actinides okay so these are three things from inorganic chemistry which you have to mug up which you have to remember lot of thing over there so just start doing that and uh, in in your organic chemistry if you are preparing for organic chemistry start uh, noting down like note like start sorting up down okay whatever you have studied till now just sort it down so if i have if you have studied about reagents so just sort them out that which reagents will do, uh, do cn addition which will do anti addition like that yeah, then which of them will do uh, oxidation which will do reduction which will do like like that you have to sort it down and make your own notes yeah so this is the next point like uh, make your own notes and that is only going to help you in the last 3 4 days of exam like before exam like 3 4 days before exam whatever you have studied till now whatever notes you have made that is only going to help you so there is no notes of coaching no notes of anybody else which is going to help you because you are going only going to get help from what you have studied okay so if you have any others notes like if you have some notes of some coaching or some of your seniors then start sorting out things from there and start making your notes uh, like whatever you study like i have showed you if you if you watch my previous videos i have shown you that while, while i was preparing uh, for my especially for physical chemistry whenever i study certain topic of it i just note down the important formula important points from there and from there there only i just give you guys uh, notes and i give you guys certain things and in the video where i discussed about uh, uh like uh, electrocyclic reaction there i showed you that video okay uh, those notes so like keep making those notes those are going to be helpful before exam okay secondly if you have completed all the questions all previous years questions of csir net then start doing questions of gate as well and uh, if you get question paper of tifr then start doing that also whatever kind of question you get just do it and one more thing that uh, if you get some question and you are not able to solve it out don't get panic about it start reading about that question okay just read about that question and try to find out that how to do that question that that is important and if something uh, seems to be very difficult it if it is not getting solved if it is not getting if you are not getting answer just leave it out okay just leave that out believe in what you have studied that's what very is very important okay so now you are being like now you have to be very focused on what you have studied till now okay so just start recollecting everything start Uh, maintaining a like a uh, memory kind of thing in your mind, and uh, like start revising the things so that whenever it comes in exam, certain portion or anything comes regarding that, you don't miss it up. And one and the last thing which I wanted to say is that uh, results are going to be announced soon for CSIR June 2018. So if you have given that exam and if result by any means, if the result is not appropriate if you are not getting good marks and that don't get panic don't be disheartened okay focus on what is going to be come okay what is coming so just focus on that and don't get disheartened with the result okay so that's what i wanted to convey it's very important what happens like if the result comes just before exam and if you watch that result and if you are not getting good re result you get disheartened many students get like that so don't feel like that stay focused stay positive and this is what you have to be like you have to be positive you have to think uh, in your own you have to believe in your own that you are going to crack uh, csir grf this time okay don't go for net go for grf so stay focused stay positive and believe in yourself just think that like you have to think in your own that you are going to crack csir grf this time okay and uh, yeah so these were certain points certain tips which i wanted to give you for your last one month preparation right i'll also make one video before exam like uh, one week before exam so that that will be giving you some last minute tips that what you are going to do in exam what are the things which you which you should do and which are the things which you should uh, like which you should not miss in exam okay so those are going to be the last minute tips but for this video it's uh, just this much i wanted to convey and yeah uh, from my side also i will try to complete a few more topics before exam on an academy and as well as on youtube uh, i'll post few videos related to the C related to this csir net exam and on an academy also i have completed like uh, recently i have uploaded uh, molecular spectroscopy so if you are like previous years questions are solved over there so you can watch that video as well and there are many courses which i have posted on an academy and beside youtube you can watch videos over there also so if you watch both of the places almost like 
60 percent or i would say 55 60 percent force of your csi net is covered in my videos and yeah last in the last i would like to say that uh, many people ask me many student ask me that if i watch all of your videos on an academy on youtube can i get my csi net exam so see nobody is going to in the whole world nobody is going to uh, say like that okay that watch my videos and you are going to get csi net exam yeah i am trying to give you a lot of uh, stuff i'm trying to give you as many uh, like as many stuff as many notes as many tricks as many questions as possible it's your hard work it's your understanding it's your uh, like preparation how much you prepare how much you work hard for exam that is going to pay you in the exam okay so yeah so i hope all the best for you and uh, these were certain points if you like these points just give it a like to this video if you are new to this channel just subscribe it out and um, i'll be back soon with new videos on youtube and an academy as well Till then, have a great day.